It is easiest to understand the spread of our data visually. The most common visual for quantitative data is known as a histogram. In this video, we will take a look at exactly how histograms are constructed. In order to understand how histograms are constructed, consider we have the following data set. First, we need to bin our data. You, as the histogram creator, ultimately choose how the binning occurs. Here, I have chosen our bins as 1 to 4, 5 to 8, 9 to 12, and 13 to 16. Because these first four values are between 1 and 4, they go into the first bin. These next three values are between 5 and 8, so they fall in the next bin. Then these two values fall in this bin, and 15 falls into our last bin. The number of values in each bin determine the height of each histogram bar. Changing the bins will result in a slightly different visual. There really isn't a right answer to choosing our bins, and in most cases, software will choose the appropriate bins for us, but it is something to be aware of. 